Hello, this is Charles Cherney, and in this video, I'm going to look at how real estate in Cambridge and Somerville, Massachusetts, has changed in COVID times. I'm a top real estate agent in these marketplaces serving buyers and sellers, and I've been doing it for over 20 years. You can reach me by text, telephone, or email to help you buy the right home or sell for the best price, or just answer your questions about the market, your home, and the community. My contact information is below, so I'd love to hear from you. Let's dive right in to how real estate has changed in COVID times. So I'm making this in July, 2020, and this all started back in March. So we're four plus months into this. And I wanna talk about five new realities. So number five, well, no surprise, I'm meeting people via Zoom or the telephone rather than in person. So my office in Harvard Square closed back in March. When it reopened a few months ago, it was strictly agents and staff, and there's a protocol to enter the office to confirm you're healthy, and you have to sign up and can't meet people there. And even if I could, I don't think most people would want to meet in person, given what's going on. So on Zoom or on the phone has been the way to connect with clients and it's been fine and I'm working from home. I'm sitting as I make this video at my uh, desk in my home office. It's perfectly fine for me to connect with people here via Zoom or over the telephone, be it that I'm in my car or out in the yard or here at my desk. It's easy enough to find a, a place to have a conversation and uh, I think most people actually find it works just fine. Number four on the list of five ways the market's changed in COVID times here in Cambridge and Somerville is the emergence of the Matterport tour. So nearly every new listing has a 3D tour made by the Matterport company, and it allows you to virtually walk through the home. And a tip on that, by the way, is to use the directional keys on your keyboard to move around from circle to circle on the 3D tour. And it's been really helpful to many people to have the opportunity to walk through virtually. It's almost like today's first showing now is the 3D tour. Yes, the Matterport tour had been around and on occasion employed, but now it's used nearly every time there's a new listing. And the seller clients I'm working with have been having me uh, make a 3D tour with Matterport and it's been very helpful. Yes, photos are still part and parcel of listing a property for sale and better understanding it, but if a 3D tour is not the be all end all, it's certainly an extremely uh, useful way to develop a deeper sense of a property. I've even had some listings where the 3D tour advances out into the outdoor space to give uh, prospective buyers a chance to see the patio garden, if you will, or the yard. So these Matterport tours are new in regular use and uh, a new reality in COVID times. Number three, there are very few open houses. My gosh, in March, April, and even into May, there were next to none at all. Now, May, June, into July, there are a few more. I'm not sure they're necessarily necessary right now. People actually prefer to be at a property they're visiting on their own and have safe distance from others and not be concerned about their safety. We just aren't seeing that many open houses. The few that are out there, sometimes it's sort of a fake open house in that it's posted as an open house, but you can only enter if you have an appointment. Nearly 20 years of seeing open houses and hosting open houses as a top agent here, uh, now suddenly there's just very few. It's a new reality that properties are shown by appointment. Number two on my list is there's this new advanced showing protocol, which is no surprise. So for nearly every listing that a potential buyer wishes to see, buyer's agent typically receives from the listing broker a COVID form for both the agent and the buyer to sign to make known that to the best of their knowledge, they don't have COVID and are feeling healthy. Then they arrive at the property for the showing and there is the requirement to be wearing a mask. Many listings also require visitors to wear gloves. Some require that you wear booties or take off your shoes. So the whole showing protocol now is much more involved. I think that's just as well. I don't think anyone's necessarily complaining about the need to masked up and wearing gloves and wearing booties and filling out a form. I mean, basically, it requires then potentially interested party to demonstrate their willingness to see the property by going through this process. So it's for the best and it makes sense. And I don't think anyone really has issue with it in the Cambridge and Somerville marketplace. And number one on my list, it's 
the biggest change, it shouldn't be a surprise, but the number of in-person visits to properties is greatly reduced. So I talked about how there's just not as many open houses and open houses would often be a chance for a neighbor to come by or a looky-loo to look or someone who was mildly in the market to take measure of a property. Now with that heavy showing protocol in place for just about every listing, there's just not that many in-person showings. And with the Matterport tour serving, if you will, as the first showing, for most parties, the in-person visits are almost like second showings. Uh, people come in, they already know the property pretty well from what they've learned from the 3D tour and the photos and the description and the questions perhaps they've asked through their agent. Typically, people aren't going to take the time, make the effort and go through the showing protocol unless they're serious. So you end up with just a handful on average of people who cross the threshold to physically see the property in person. So that's a new reality. For the moment, the market is holding up Price points are holding steady. There have, in fact, been multiple, multiple offer scenarios. So that reality is still, in many instances, the same as before COVID. This is not true of every property. It never has been true of every property that it's multiple offers at a bid deadline. But uh, we are still seeing uh, that the Cambridge and Somerville market is holding up in terms of value at this time. My name is Charles Cherney. And as I mentioned at the start, I'm a top realtor here in the Cambridge and Somerville market. And I'm happy to connect with you by text, telephone, or email to be of service as you give thought to selling here or buying here, or you just have questions about the market, your home, or the community, reach out at any time and do watch the other videos on my channel to learn more about the market in Cambridge and Somerville. Take care.